All right, well, first, before I show you guys the fray, this is a food I made for them. It's brine shrimp, but I did something a little special for them so they could eat it. It's frozen. And I'll go ahead and show you how I set up their food real quick. Add some water so like that could d get dissolved really well. And you'll see this whole container take the color of the brine shrimp pretty much right now. Right, that's how it looks after I get it all mixed in really well. Mm. My little weenie dog. Not Max. Right, this is a tank of the uh, parents. I just cleaned it right now, so I have enough plants in it right now. Have them soaking. And have five piranhas. I think three are females and two are males. So I've been having a whole bunch of eggs recently, and uh, African cichlids in there with them, as well as two plecotomists, and my bearded dragons over there, and this is the freight tank I have set up for them. It's a 20 gallon tank, regular 20 gallon tank, have an air stone, and a pump and a heater, and always right before I feed my fray, I turn off the filter. So like that the filter doesn't suck up all the eggs, all the food actually, sorry. But yeah, let's see if I can get a shot of the fray swimming around. I have a whole bunch of fray in here and this is how they eat. And I just go ahead and let this sit there for about how long? 30 minutes I do. And without the filter on. And after 30 minutes is good enough for them to at least eat some. And then I get to turn on the filter again and go ahead and suck up the rest of the food they didn't eat. But yeah. Thanks for watching, YouTubers.